guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica B. Today we are making pico de gallo. And if you're interested in learning how to make this, just keep on watching. So for today's video, all you will need is two bundles of cilantro, two bundles of long green onion, one whole purple onion, one serrano, four Roma tomatoes, but any tomatoes will do. I just like the Roma ones. And five lemons. As much lemon as you want. I prefer maybe up to 10 lemons because I like it really juicy and lemony, but it's completely up to you. And one yellow El Pato um, sauce. You can use any one. I think there's like a red one and a green one. There's a green one. And I think it's like a jalapeno flavor or something. And then salt, pepper. You're gonna add all of that. A knife to chop everything up, a spoon to mix everything up, a bowl to put everything in. One vegetable cutter. Literally, this saves my life every single time. I raved about this on my Instagram and I'll do a whole video about it one day, but not today. And then one on, um, onion, <laughs> lemon squeezer. But if you don't have that, you can get this. I think you can get this at the dollar store for like a dollar and then, or one of these lemon squeezers. But I like this, this makes my life so much easier. Next, you're gonna get all of your tomatoes and you're gonna chop them up into little slices because we are gonna put them into the vegetable cutter. And the vegetable cutter on the box, it does show you putting a whole half-ass onion into it to chop it and you do not want to do that, it'll break. So little slices like this is perfect. So because my cutting board is a little bit like warped and wobbly, I'm gonna give you a little senora tip. You're gonna take a paper towel and wet it and just put it on top of your counter like this. And then take your cutting board and put it on top and it won't move at all. So we're gonna take the Serrano and I don't like my chile, I know this is really sad, but I don't like my chile really um, spicy at all. So I do either a quarter or half, but today we'll do half, just cause I don't wanna be a wimp. But we'll do half and then we'll cut these into little squares as well. And everything that I'm cutting right now will go into my vegetable cutter. <clears throat> and then we'll take the purple onion. You can use any onion, I prefer the purple one. It brings like a little sweetness to it. And then I do a whole like on the stem, I do the whole half of it. But just depending on how many people you're making the salsa for, like a party, I would double the ingredients. So if I make a party, let's say for my husband's side of the family, I'll do four cilantros, four bundles of long onion, a whole onion, and like six tomatoes and 15 lemon and a whole serrano. And maybe the bigger can of like El Pato. And then so when we're done cutting this, because you can't chop the cilantro and the long onion in the vegetable chopper that has to go like in a manual chop on your cutting board. You're going to take this and then we'll take pieces of your onion. And look at how freaking cool this is. This makes your life 100% better. And the box shows you shows the person taking this whole thing and putting it here and chopping it. You will break it. I'll put um, where I got it. Well, actually, I got it at Walmart. And it was like seventeen dollars. So I think everybody should have one of these. And 
and then take your half a serrano and stick it in there as well. The tomatoes are probably the longest part of chopping. This is what it looks like having a quarter of the onion, a half a serrano, and four tomatoes. Like look at these little tiny squares. They are the cutest. So when you bite into them, it's not like a big old hunk of like onion and tomato and serrano. Like it's just edible little pieces. So next, because you cannot chop these in your vegetable chopper, it'll just make a mess because it has like a, a weird film, like a, a really thin skin, and these are just not choppable in this thing. So we'll rinse all of your vegetables. You have to rinse your tomato and your purple onion and serrano as well. <clears throat> take the long onion and you're just gonna chop this part off just like the little ends the little spiky hair in this you don't have to spend so much time chopping I just do thin little thin little slices Then take your cilantro and you're going to cut it till here until the leaves are completely gone. So you're going to cut all the cilantro up to the stem and this you literally have to cut it very fine. Just chop it up as small as possible because you don't want big old portions like this, big old leaves inside your salsa as like your guests or yourself or your family. Pick it up with a chip or put it on your taco. Their taco, you don't want to have a big old leaf in there. your cilantro I try to cut it as small as possible so it's not big old chunks in my um, my salsa and then I just add it to the bowl and this is two bundles that's why I use two because it gets it chops up so small So then you're going to take everything that you chopped in your chopper and pour it inside your bowl. And that's the purple onion, the serrano, the tomato. And it just looks so pretty. So now we're going to do the lemons. You're going to take your juicer. You can do um, any citrus on here. I only do lemon and then sometimes orange juice in the morning. 
And then chop your lemons just like this, just in half. And you can make this as lemony as you want. I prefer like 10 lemons because I love everything salty and lemony, but this isn't just for me. And I love this thing because it doesn't take much effort to do. It's just really loud. Once all your lemon is squeezed, it'll look like this. But if this was for myself, it all the lemon would be up to here because I like it super juicy. But anyways, um, take your lemon. I always take one of these and put it on top because sometimes the seeds will get in there. Um, some people don't like the pulp, but I don't mind it. Okay, so after you pour your lemons in, um, you'll have at least this much juice with five lemons. But like I said before, lemon is to your tasting. I actually like more lemon. I like it very juicy rather than chunky, but it's completely up to you. But you'll add your el pato and that makes it um, a little bit more juicier. And just make three holes because if you just do one, it won't come out as fast. And just add your el pato, the whole can to it. And then get your salt and your pepper. The salt is also to your taste. I like it super salty. And then your pepper. And then you're just going to mix it. It literally smells so good and it looks so pretty. And after that, you have the best salsa made ever. 